I'm Julia and welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. Today is December 10th, National Human Rights Day. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brianna. Here are today's announcements. Attention freshmen, during your lunch please sign the diploma located in the back of the cafeteria. You will need your ID before you can sign. National Honor Society will meet Wednesday morning at 7.35. Be sure and see Mrs. Bowman or Mrs. Kelly if you are unable to attend. December service project will be held on Saturday, December 13th. Sign-ups to bring in items or help with the ACT are, in the, are on the board in Mrs. Bowman's room, C109. Come and home vote will be today during lunches. Students must present an ID to vote. Here's our weather. Hey, I'm Jam here with your five-day forecast. Today there is a high of 43 and a low of 28 with a 10% chance of rain. Tomorrow there is a high of 47 and a low of 29. Friday there is a high of 51 and a low of 32. Saturday, there's a high of 53 and a low of 33, and finally on Sunday, there's a high of 52 and a low of 32. I'm Sammy, and that was your weather. Now for our sports news. Hey, MJ, last night we played Gallatin, and our Lady Bears won 57 to 28. And our boys came up short, losing a very close game, 45 to 43. For our bowling team, our boys unfortunately lost, but our girls came on top, and will continue to move forward in the ranks. We are very proud to announce that Megan Pruitt was the first girl to ever win a girls wrestling match in the history of Mount Juliet. And also for the first time we beat Clarksville High School in a wrestling match. Remember to be sure to congratulate Megan Pruitt and the wrestling team. I'm Christina and that was your sports news. Have a great day and day. There will be a piano recital on Thursday, December 11th in room A174. Section 1 is from 6 to 7.15 and section 2 will be from 7.30 to 8.45. Admission is free, but donations are welcome. The ACT will be given at Mount Juliet High School on Saturday, December 13th. The doors open at 7.30 a.m. and the test starts promptly at 8 o'clock. Students need to bring their admission ticket, picture ID, a calculator, and two number two pencils, not mechanical. ACT prep information is in the guidance office. If you're taking the ACT in the near future, you can come to C108 from 3.15 to 4.15 every Wednesday and Thursday for free ACT tips and tricks. In national news, according to CNN, the Duke and Duchess, William and Kate of Cambridge, had a busy Monday and Tuesday. In their first visit to New York, the royal couple was able to meet basketball star LeBron James before the Brooklyn Nets and Cleveland Cavaliers game. At the photo opportunity, James broke royal protocol and put his arm around the Duchess. For them to take time out of their schedule to come here, you know, it was their first time watching a basketball game. So it's an honor that I'd be that guy that they decided they wanted to watch. So it's pretty cool, James said. The Duke and Duchess also joined Hillary and Chelsea Clinton for a reception at the British Consul General's home celebrating wildlife conservation. On Tuesday, they were able to visit the 9-11 memorial with New York Bear Mayor Bill de Blasio, and they attended a charity dinner for their alma mater, St. Andrews University, at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Monday morning at 10.44 a.m., a pilot and CEO of a health research firm who survived a 2010 mishap were among six people killed in Gaithersburg, Maryland, when a twin-engine plane crashed into a subdivision. The plane crashed into a house and damaged two others when the aircraft went belly up into the home. Three were inside and all were killed, along with three aboard the plane. A pilot named Michael Rosenberg, who was also killed, was aboard the plane and he crashed at the same airport in 2010 but has not yet been released if he was actually the pilot of this plane. The black box has been recovered from the debris and its data is being analyzed, according to CNN.com. Here's our word of the day. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling. Yeah, I've been on the force for about twenty years, uh ten of which have been in the car. Um so I kind of took a break and just kind of chilling at Mount Joe High School, calming everything down. One day I'm in a trap, next day in a mansion. Yeah. Okay, come in. Okay, Fox, coming in for duty. I got a 1020 robbery in the commons. 10-4 Legion Lab and Clear, I'm on my way. Oh, the architecture and the brick layout of this wall, it's so beautiful. I got a 1020 robbery in the comments. Coming in.
Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day. Oh, hey, they got one. They got one. Oh, man. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, I understand. Oh, jeez. Aaron! Open it, go home. Hold up there. Oh, oh. No. Deborah Matthews, we got no. one. We got one here. Yeah, we got one over here. What are you doing with this purse, sir? Uh, it's mine. Uh, and just one. Uh, and just one. So. Uh -uh. And just one. You're under arrest. Got him. Take a step, Jeff, Jeffrey Matthews, we got him. In custody. Did you read him his rights? He's vested. WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brianna. Have a wonderful Wednesday, MJ. The bird, 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 the bird,